Why I want to have at the rate keyframes property in order to define the animation behavior while specifying the time I can consider the second or millisecond and the default value here is zero which means that no animation will occur if I want to fill the color or if I want to specify the style then we will go with the animation fill mode hello to all a warm welcome to my new unit and the unit name here is css animation i'm your revati ma'am faculty from the department of computer science vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysuru so dear student in my today's session i'm going to deal with css animation so we already learned css that is nothing but the cascading style sheet then what about animation providing the effect okay so an object gradually changes its style for example think that i have a pen okay now i'm going to provide the effect okay so i'm going to increase the size of the pen okay i'm going to provide the motion in the sense what i'm going to rotate the pen that is maybe left rotation or right rotation so okay to apply animation i'm going to use css that's nothing but the cascading style sheet so what is animation animation is nothing but a way to change the appearance of an object not only appearance okay we are going to provide the motion so that's nothing but the animation if i consider css animation animation is nothing but the way to add visual effect to web page okay if i consider web page i want to provide the visual effect in that time i'll go with the animation now with css animation you can able to animate the position position in the sense what you can able to change the position even you can able to change the size even you can able to change the color of html element and if i consider css animation we can able to provide the animation in four different ways that is by specifying the duration of the animation so i'm going to specify the time okay so that's not, nothing but the duration of an animation and speed of the animation okay and number of iteration how many times i want to repeat the animation that's nothing but the number of iteration and the direction of the animation in which direction i want to provide the visual effect okay so these are the four different ways we can able to specify the css animation okay fine if i consider okay creating a simple animation in the sense what what are the steps i need to follow while creating the visual effect so first one okay what i want to do i want to define a key keyframe okay think that i have the object okay i have the object so i'll consider this one as circle over so i want to specify the starting state and ending state okay so next time okay i'm going to increase the size of the circle okay so this duration is known as interpolation okay so how i'm going to define the animation for that i'm going to have the key frame so this is nothing but the key frames so define a key frame with starting state and ending state of the element at the same time what i'm going to do i'm going to apply the different types of css animation property so to create animation what are the thing i want to remember one is key frame i want to set or i want to define at the same time okay i want to define the animation property okay fine if i consider css property okay we have several properties under 
CSS animation. In that first one, keyframe. So how to write at the rate, at the rate keyframes. So why I want to have at the rate keyframes property in order to define the animation behavior. So if I want to define the animation behavior, then I'll go with the keyframes. Suppose if I want to provide the animation name, then I have the property called animation name. Then if I want to define the duration, that's nothing but the time limits, then I'll go with the animation duration. Okay, fine. Then what about animation timing function? Specifies the speed, okay, curve of the animation. If I want to specify the speed, okay, then I'll go with the animation timing function. Okay, fine. Then what about animation delay? If I want to provide any delay in the animation, then I'll go with the animation delay. So it specifies a delay before animation starts. Then animation iteration count specifies the number of time the animation should be repeated in the sense, okay, suppose if I want to, okay, if I want to render this object five times, so I want to define, okay, the iteration count, that's nothing but the five, okay, fine. Then I have the animation direct, in which direction I want to provide the animation. So specifies whether the animation should play forward, backward or alternate back or forth. So I want to define the animation direction that is nothing but the forward or backward. Then animation fill mode, in a sense what, if I want to apply the style, okay, specifies what style are applied to animation or element before and after the animation. So if I want to fill the color or if I want to specify the style, then we will go with the animation fill mode. Then I have animation play state. So, specifies whether the animation is running or paused, okay. So, if I want to know the state of the animation, then I'll go with the animation play state. Then animation, okay, a shorthand property used for setting all the animation property. So, except animation play state, all the and the animation fill mode property in the sense, okay, uh, this animation fill mode and animation play state does not falls under shorthand property. Okay, fine. Now, we are going to discuss different properties of CSS animation one by one in depth. Okay, fine. See here, okay, animation property one. So what is my first animation property? That's nothing but the keyframe. So what is keyframe? We are going to specify the starting state and ending state. So this is used to determine the animation behavior for our element. So it is used in combination with other animation related CSS properties such as animation name, animation duration and animation direction. In the sense, okay, in my keyframe, I can able to use other properties like animation name, animation duration and animation direction. Okay, fine. Now, if I consider the syntax here, okay, I said that keyframe always starts with at the rate symbol. So, at the rate keyframes, okay, and I want to specify the name of the animation. So, that's nothing but the animation name. Start with the flower bracket, okay, and you have to specify from and to. So from in the sense what starting, okay, starting position. So what is keyframe? In keyframe, I'm going to define my starting state of the object as well as ending state of the object. So in my from, I'm going to define the starting state of the 
animation and if i consider to what i'm defining i'm defining the ending state of the object so where animation name is the user defined animation name so i'm the user and i'm going to create the animation so i'm going to specify the animation name so it is user defined animation name okay so where animation name is a user defined name for the animation from keyword is used to define the starting state of the element and two is a keyword used to define the ending state of the element so here animation name is nothing but user defined animation okay name and from as nothing but the keyword where to is also nothing but the keyword okay fine keyframe so if i consider starting state zero is nothing but the starting position of an element okay and ending state is nothing but the 100 percent so okay at the rate keyframe my animation name okay from is nothing but zero percent and two is nothing but hundred percent okay so zero percent keyword is used to define the starting state of the element whereas hundred percent keyword is used to define the ending state of the element okay fine now see here i have the example so at the rate keyframe over then change color what is my animation name change color okay so i'm going to specify from as nothing but okay zero state okay that's nothing but the starting state and what color the background color should be red color and two is nothing but hundred percent nothing but the ending state so what is the background color green color Okay, fine. Now I have another example. See here, keyframes change color, hundred percent. Okay, background red and hundred percent background green. So I can able to use the keywords as well as I can able to specify the value. So zero is nothing but from, whereas hundred percent is nothing but two. Okay, fine. Now, if I consider another example, okay, I have at the rate keyframes, okay, what is my animation name that is move box from, from as nothing but the starting state, okay. So, towards left at a zero pixel and top at a zero pixel so dear student if i consider two that's nothing but the ending state okay towards left at a 600 pixel and top at a zero pixel okay fine now i have second property that is nothing but the animation name so animation name is nothing but the user defined animation name this specifies the name of the key keyframe so i'll use i'll use a animation name with keyframe animation so this is used to combine with okay where i'm going to combine with the animation properties like animation duration animation delay as well as animation direction okay fine if i consider the syntax i have the animation name okay and it is name where name is the name of the animation defined using okay at the rate keyframe rule Okay, fine. If I consider the syntax here, okay, I have animation duration and I'm going to specify the time. So, this is my third property. So, I can able to use animation name with animation duration or animation delay. So, to define animation name, name of the animation, okay, and I I'm going to specify the user defined name. Where, okay, if I want to specify the duration, Okay, this specifies the duration of the animation to complete one cycle. Okay, so if I consider the syntax, 
animation duration and I am going to specify the duration in times. So, where time is the duration of the animation, time can be specified in seconds or millisecond in the sense what while specifying the time I can consider the second or millisecond and the default value here is 0 which means that no animation will occur whenever I define the animation duration as 0 then there is no animation okay fine then I have another property that is nothing but the animation duration okay fine so how to write animation duration and I want to specify the duration that is in seconds or milliseconds okay so I have this simple code here I'll start with the HTML, I'll start with the head tag and I'll start with the style. Why I'll write within the style? Because I'm writing the cascading style sheet animation. Whenever I use a CSS, then where I write in using style tag. Okay, so I have the keyframe and change color is nothing but the animation name. Over. Then I'm going to define the starting state. Okay, background color is red and ending state background color is green. Okay, fine. Now I use the tag called divide. Why I use a div tag to divide the page? Okay, so what is the width? That is 100 pixel. Height is nothing but the 100 pixel and background is nothing but the red. Okay, I'm going to use the animation name. Okay, so animation name. What is the name of the animation name? That is nothing but the change color. So this change color is nothing but the user defined animation name then I'm going to specify the duration okay animation duration if I specify zero then what it indicates there is no animation and here I'm writing the five seconds so I can able to write the duration in terms of seconds or milliseconds then I'm going to close the style I'm going to close the head okay I'm going to start with the body okay rest of the code what you want you can able to write in this html code okay fine then i have the fourth property what's my fourth property that is nothing but the animation timing function it is mainly used to specify the speed of the animation okay how fastly okay i want to provide the visual effect how quickly i want to provide the visual effect for that I'm going to have the animation timing function so this specifies the speed of the animation okay fine then I have the syntax okay so I'm going to have the animation timing function okay either I can have linear ease is in is out is in out anyway we will study all those things one by one linear so what is linear the animation has the same speed from starting to end okay for example okay your animation speed is five okay five second so from starting to end okay i'm going to have constant speed that's nothing but the linear is what is is it's a default value okay is is nothing but the default animation timing function the animation has a slow start okay slow start i'm going to increase the speed gradually okay then fast okay and before going to end what i'm going to do i'm going to slow down the speed of the animation that's nothing but the is then is in so the animation has a low start when I want to start the animation okay with a smaller speed okay then I'll go with the ease in ease out in the sense what when I want to stop the animation okay has a slow then I'll go with the ease out then ease in ease out the animation has both slow start and slow end 
then I'll go with the is in and out. What are the five different values I can have in my animation timing function? Linear, is, is in, is out, is in, out. Okay, fine. Then I have the fifth property that's nothing but the animation delay. So I can able to specify the delay. So this specifies a delay before the animation start. Before going to start my animation, okay, I can able to specify the delay. Over. So for that, I'm going to have animation delay. Now I have the property animation delay and what kind of value I'm going to provide that's nothing but the time. So where time is the time delay before the animation starts. So Time can be specified either in seconds or in milliseconds. Now I have a simple program. Okay, I'll start with the animation. Over. So at the rate keyframes, what's my animation name? Move box is nothing but the animation name. Okay, now it starts from, okay, starting state and two is nothing but the ending state. I'm going to have the due, okay. It's a selector width. What's the width of the box? That's nothing but the 100 pixel. What's the height of the box? 100 pixel. What is the background color? That is red. And whatever the position, it is relate to. And what is the name of the animation? That is nothing but the move box. What is the animation duration? That is 10 seconds. Okay. The animation timing function is nothing but the linear, okay. And what about animation delay? It's nothing but the 5 second. This is the way I can able to create the CSS animation. Okay, then I'm going to close the style. I'm going to close the head and body. I'll start with the body, okay. Whatever the style I want to apply in my web page i can able to write here this is the way i can able to create css animation anyway dear student in my today's session i started with css animation along with some of the css properties like animation name animation delay animation duration and so on once again in my next class, okay, I'm going to deal with rest of the animation properties. Anyway, dear students, let's meet in the next session with more information about CSS animation property. Until that, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.